Ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Yo! What's up, you guys? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the first yes. season two, episode season two. one. We're so excited that mm -hmm. you're here with us today. Mm -hmm. And we're excited for this season. We we know that God has a lot of in store. And we just want to, you know, welcome you all. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, you know, for those of you who are with us on this journey from season one, we appreciate you. We love you. We thank you for all the support and the encouragement that was rolling in. Um, and we're just excited about season two, yeah. uh, what God is going to do in all of our lives. So, you know, thank you for joining us. Continue to, to just rock with us and uh, let us know what you guys are thinking about what we discuss. You know, if you have any suggestion, any topics that you feel like is very relevant and can help you and your household, we're welcome to suggestions. All right. All right. So, so season two. Season two, yes, we are here. I'm so excited because, mm. listen, you know, one of the things that Joshua and I, we were, um, we kind of talk about is like, which direction are we trying to go with mm. the new season? Yeah. We just, we're just trying to bring you topics that are real, that are relevant, yeah. and that's just going to flow. It's yeah. going to be real easy, yeah. and that you all can just listen in on, and, and it'll be a blessing to you, your mm. life, mm. and in every area. We're, that's our prayer. Yeah, and we hope you like the new setup. You know, we're yeah. trying to do something special for you guys. <laughs> you know, make you feel like welcome you to the table to come and sit and talk with us. Yes. Um, but as we just kind of go ahead and jump right into it, yeah, yeah. you know, we're thinking about just this is a new year. Um, 2020 was a very interesting year. You know. you know, a lot of people are just kind of looking into 2021 with high expectations, like looking yes. for something different. Yes. And, and you know what? Some people might even be like, Yo, 2021, what is this year going to be like? Yeah. You know, because 2020, they're like, this year better be better <laughs> than 2020. Yeah. Like, straight up. Because yeah. it, it was just too much that was going on. Too yeah. much that was happening last year. You know, a lot of people had high hopes and yeah. expectations to oh, do man. certain things. Yes. And even for us, when we started in 2020, uh, we were just like, okay, we're going to do this. And then all of that happened, and the pandemic shift. and everything, and yeah. it just like it, we had to like shift. Yeah, you know, and it, it, it brought it, it brought up a really big question Ooh. and a really big pivotal point in our lives. We had big plans, mm -hmm. we had it down on paper, and it looked good. And then the pandemic happened, and then the shutdown, and and then the question is, what do we do now? Yes. Do yes. we put a halt? to everything we feel like God is calling us to do or do we step out and, and press forward and I think That's that good. I think that happens a lot just in life you know there's I, I, I've come to realize there's no perfect time to do anything <laughs> yeah you just got to do it yeah you just got to do it and you know what that's so good because I'm 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 thinking about like whenever we have our own plans mm -hmm. and God shifts it yeah or something happens that causes to shake up something in your relationship yeah and it's like okay what what do you do yeah. what, do you, what are you going to do like some people they turn to arguing with each other because it's not going the way they yeah, want it it's frustrating um, how are you going to handle yeah situations that challenge you in life and even in your relationship your when your kids are challenging yeah, you yeah so you know it's true and, it, and it's like when you don't have it all figured out you know do you stop moving forward mm, when you, you never you know, stop moving forward. <laughs> when you don't have it figured out do you stop and you know what sometimes you'll never know what you're made of Mm -hmm. Unless you are in a situation that you are not in control, and the only thing you have left is your faith, and your, your faith can do your faith move mountains. Yeah, you know yeah. the Bible says. So think about it. For us in 2020, we're like we're gonna launch a business. We're gonna launch our YouTube channel. Yeah, Sue's gonna leave her job. Oh my God! <laughs> and, 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 this all, <laughs> and this all happened in the pandemic. Yes. I think the, yeah. we launched our channel in February. Mm -hmm. I remember March 13th was a Friday. I was at work. We had an email go out to the entire company to say we're not we're not going to come back to the office until further notice. At the time, they said two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks passed. Then you, then another correspondence went out to further notice. And I'm like, this is really happening. Mm -hmm. You know. And then in the midst of that, the kids are home. 
Now I'm home at Some, first. Someone got to stay home and take care of the kids, you know. So, and I was home first because I was working from home for like two months. You were still required to go into the office. Yes. And then finally you came home, and then that's when my job was like we're gonna go in alternate weeks. Yeah. And it's just. It was like the unknown. We were living in such an unknown time. And then the pivotal question, are you still going to launch? You know, if you are going to launch, they require you to go back to work. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's when Sue, Sue was like, you know what? I think I'm going to, I'm, I, think I'm, I think it's my time. Yeah. But you know what? Let's, I was thinking that this is such a good topic when we're talking about this because it's like, we're talking about the what next, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. When it comes to like, chaos and situation what do you do next yeah yeah especially so i mean especially when you're not sure what to expect you know is this and, and, and this is where a lot of people kind of give up on the things that they're pursuing and 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 it's kind of like because you don't have all the answers but when you look at a lot of people who are living their their vision living their purpose mm -hmm. They, they've stepped out even when they didn't have all the answers. And yeah. so today what we want to talk about is just really, you know, we're in a new year. January is about to be behind us. It's it's going to be February. Yeah, January is is gone. It's, it's over. Yeah. January of 2021 has passed. Today is like, January 31st. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. And by the time this is it comes out, it's going to be February. It's going to be February. And, and Josh and I, we were like, yo, a lot of people... January comes and they make goals and they, they write out everything that they're doing mm -hmm. for what they're doing in their life but they don't sit and they don't get together with their significant other yeah. or whoever they're dating at the time and yeah. be like yo what is our goals for our, our relationships goals? yeah you know so yeah that's what we're gonna be talking about today we have um, a, a free a PDF, a free um, workbook, ebook guide, whatever you want to call it, that mm -hmm. we're gonna link down below. Mm -hmm. When you are planning your goals for for January for 2021, include your relationship. Yeah. Now this downloadable. It's you know it's not a lot of information. It's just a couple pages. It's just it's giving an outline. You, Give you yeah. a kind of a. It's just the outline of like guide. how how to write down your goals, focusing on mm -hmm. the elements of the first yeah. finances, intimacy, right. you know, relationship, your relationship, right. sex, time, mm -hmm. and just transparency and all of that, and just really break down your goals for your relationship in mm -hmm. 2021. I think this is so significant because. This is something that Sue and I we kind of started to do mm -hmm. and, and this was something I don't know about you guys But a lot of this wasn't really taught to us, you know, you sit down and you make my goals What am I gonna do in this year? What am I and then when you have two different people in a relationship? Our goals are going to kind of overlap a little bit of course because we're supporting each other So we're supporting each other's goals and so when you think about it like this when the new year comes around with your job what they talk about your goals yeah Every, everybody everybody sits SWAT down what analysis yeah everybody sit down with their manager this is the goals and this is how it lines up with the company you know the company's vision mm -hmm. in school the kids get a new semester get what do they get a syllabus yeah what's the syllabus this is our goals for the right. semester but that's so good because even within the company just looking at that perspective you have your own goals that's true you have to attain yeah you know what I mean yeah and then you you have the SWAT which is like that the, the the goals of the overall organization so it's not just yeah. looking at the, the macro but it's also yeah. looking at the micro yeah no it's true and, and make sh making sure that the micro goals are working together to achieve the macro goal absolutely and so any think about it is like if we are in each other's workspace mm -hmm. because we support each other Correct. in our goals yeah. Because overall, one person in a company don't win and the other lose. If if we don't come together and and and, and pursue that overall goal, mm -hmm. the company as a whole loses. That's that's it. And, and it's so the same in a relationship. Yeah. You know, so I may have certain things I want to do in 2021. You know, but then Sue may have certain things she's pursuing. But it's like, how do we come together and unite our goals? Yeah. Because it's our it's how we complement each other.